still gets lots of attention at uh, Warbirds. Smiley pilot. <laughs> okay, Tim, uh, tell us about this uh, this particular Vulcan. So this is pretty much the stock um, Vulcan that Dominic's designed that lots of people have flown in regular PLA, but this one's done in lightweight PLA um, with some rectilinear infill. So I don't know if you can see in the front there, lots of gridding and that um, helps support the outer skin so it's like that for the wings too um, and this one is a dual servo so it's really as light as it can get it's about 800 grams all up flying weight with the battery with the battery um, yeah, and hopefully right. was has caught some of the, the flying it will fly noticeably slower now but there is quite a lot of reflex trimmed up in as you can see yeah, oh, they all have that though. Yeah, and we had to add some lead in the tail. That, that blister on the end there is a cast little ah, lump yeah. of lead. Right, yeah. So if I was doing it again, I'd probably do regular PLA control surfaces just to pull the balance point back a little bit. Because uh -huh. then you could use a more powerful battery. Uh -huh. Right. It, it gets away off the hand launch a lot, lot easier. And that's one of the issues yeah, with yeah. the uh, normal. So you've got your hand launch yeah. um, finger grips you, there. That allows you to propel it from the center of gravity. Yeah. Was has got some nice videos of hand launches that don't work quite as intended. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> there's uh, plenty, plenty on the crash video on that one. <laughs> and this one was painted in a bit of a hurry in a day. Um, so the camo is not as good as I'd like, but it'll do. It, it actually camouflages against the long really well. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah. All, all white underneath, like when Dad flew. Right. He, I believe Dad flew this one. Ah, even better. Yeah. Okay, good stuff. No worries. Thanks. Thanks.